Hello everybody, uh, here at Tuvalu Area School Completion Program we are very excited to introduce you to the I Am A Rock project and our coordinator Michael will tell you more about the project and about the workbook in his video but uh, I would like to tell you today how to prepare what materials you're going to need and some ideas how to create your own rock. So let's get started. So before we start uh, to paint the rocks, we need to do three things. And the first one of them is to find the rock. And as you can see, there can be different um, shapes and sizes. And um, the best thing is to look for the rock that has a smooth surface. So it will be easier for you to decorate it. And the rocks with the rough edges and bumps uh, we're gonna leave out. So um, where to find the rock? Uh, of course you can find one on your walk, maybe in a park, but there's also a very good chance that you find one just outside your house. So when you have decided uh, on the rock you're gonna use and you have brought it home, uh, give it a good wash, um, warm water uh, and the soap, uh, will do the job. So give it a good wash and leave it to dry. So while the rock is drying, uh, you can also think about a few ideas. Uh, what would you like to paint on your rock? It could be a face. You can give it a, 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 char a character if you like. And uh, it can also be a scenery, uh, flowers, different patterns, uh, you can write a text on it, there is uh, lots of ideas what you can do, maybe you have a favorite uh, quote and if you are stuck for the ideas you can look up online um, painted rocks or look at your uh, favorite books, maybe movie characters. So um, that, that should give you a good idea and um, get you started. So what materials you will gonna need to decorate your rock? And it depends where you're gonna keep your rock. If you're gonna keep it inside, you can use um, uh, really anything, pens, pencils, markers, uh, different paints, uh, gouache paint and, and stickers and, and, and really there's uh, uh, lots you can do. So um, if the rock has a dark um, surface you can paint it first the background because on the dark background sometimes it's hard to see the colors so if you wish you can paint the background first for this rock the surface is uh, bright uh, so i have uh, drawn a couple of love hearts just with a, a red pencil and i have green paint here so I'll just do grass for this one and I might add um, flowers later on and if you use the paint uh, you may need to wait between the layers uh, to dry it and also if you don't want to use any colors you can just use a black marker like on this one just a smiley face uh, there or this one is um, very simple as well um, so whatever you like if you would like to bring your rock outside and maybe leave it on the flower pot, acrylic uh, acrylic paint uh, is uh, good and will last. 
and uh, most supermarkets, um, stationery shops, discount stores would have a small packs of various colors of these and uh, also garden uh, paint or acrylic markers uh, some of the other options so uh, again uh, you can color the background uh, first and for this one I choose um, owl so still uh, need to need to finish and when you have found your rock uh, look at the shape. Uh, sometimes uh, shape uh, will um, give you an idea what can you paint on it. And like this one, for example, it reminds me a shape of a ladybird. Uh, of course, it can also be a, a face. And of course, uh, don't forget to give a name to your rock. And sometimes maybe you know already at the beginning what its name going to be. But sometimes when you finish and you, you look at it and you think it's, it actually has a different name. So, so I think we're going to call this rock Moon. Moon Rock. And yes, we will be sharing uh, some ideas and images on Tulu SCP Facebook account and Instagram account. And also there will be information about the project on TuloAreaSCP.com uh, website. And um, yeah, please let us know how you're getting on. And if you would like to send us an image of your rock, you are welcome to do it. And the email is TuloSCP at gmail.com. Thanks for watching. Bye.